one of the things I've found since since retiring is how to replace the the void that has been left by by rugby. Um, and one of the things that, that I've done is throw myself into lots of little adventures. Um, the first was a Yukon Arctic Ultra Marathon, which takes place in northern Canada, one of the most northerly parts of Canada in the Yukon Territory, is part of the Arctic Circle. That's a 300 mile race. And rather frustratingly, after three days, I got frostbite in, uh, in this finger. Didn't lose it, um, but it meant I couldn't finish the race. So this year I've got some rather unfinished business, which is going back and doing it again with a good friend of mine, Alan Chambers, who bizarrely I met just prior to departure for the 2003 Rugby World Cup when he came and spoke to us as a, as a side um, and inspired us with his talk and adventure. So, he's, so me and him are going back to the Yukon. Since then I've also uh, cycled Land's End to John O'Groats, 1,000 miles in, in nine days. Uh, I've done the London Marathon, which I can tell you was a lot more challenging than I ever, ever expected it to be. Um, I've been up to Kalapatar near Base Camp Everest with, uh, with the Extreme Classrooms, which is um, taking disadvantaged kids with, with learning difficulties and behavioural problems, which was just phenomenal. Um, and next year we've got another extreme classroom which is going to be uh, the toughest or the wettest it's yet to be decided. So I'm just loving it. It's a great opportunity to, to replace what has been taken from.